A very warm welcome to Whitley Park here in the northeast of England for the final match day of the UEFA Youth League group stage. The focus here is on Group F as bottom hosts top. It's Newcastle United versus AC Milan on what is a lovely sunny lunchtime. It's been a tough first season in the UEFA Youth League for Newcastle who have just four points from five games. But they did win last time out in Paris against PSG. Johnny Emerson netting an 88th minute winner to secure a 2-1 victory and a first ever win in this competition. So now they're going for back-to-back -back victories. That would take them to seven points but sadly for Newcastle United that would not be enough to nick second place because of their inferior head-to-head -head record with Dortmund who start the day on seven points so they're playing for pride here and hoping that they can be back in this competition in the near future that depends what Newcastle do the senior side For Milan, well, they can just enjoy their visit because they're through as group winners. Whatever happens here, they've won four of their five games in the group to sit on 12 points, five clear of the rest. They know they'll be straight through to the round of 16 while the others battle it out for second place. Surprisingly mild for the time of year here at uh, Whitley Park. And a nice warm welcome for the players as they make their way out onto what is actually a very good surface here. The sides met on match day one. Newcastle managed just two goal attempts in Milan they were 3-0 down inside 26 minutes and eventually lost 4-0 they also gave away two penalties in that game and to be honest they were overwhelmed at times but they really have grown into this competition since then they've got better and better with each game sadly for their hopes of progressing it is a little bit too late but they will have got tremendous experience from this campaign in the UEFA Youth League. So we go through the pre-match formalities. And it gives us an opportunity to take a look at the lineups in just a moment. Newcastle boss Ben Dawson makes three changes to the side that won in Paris. Ben Barkinson comes in up front to partner Johnny Emerson, while Scott Bailey and James Huntley are named in a four man midfield. So a change of shape as well. The Magpies went with three centre backs in France, while here at home. It is a back four with a diamond midfield, we believe. And a few options on the bench there, including, you can see Sean Mavadidi, the younger brother of Leicester's Mavadidi. The officials this afternoon are from the Czech Republic. The referee in the middle there, Jan Petrik. Kathal Heffernan, the captain for Newcastle. Now, job done for Milan with top spot guaranteed. So their coach, Ignazio Abate, makes eight changes to the side that put four past Dortmund. Only keeper Bartaccioni, captain Zeroli and right back Bakune keep their places. It's a fresh front three with number nine, Francesco Comada, aged just 15, leading the line. 
He has three goals in three youth league appearances this season. And we should also mention that Matteo Tetzele makes his UEFA League a youth league debut in defence. Shadows already lengthening here. It's uh, one o'clock in the afternoon local time. Plenty of supporters here to see this final fixture for Newcastle in this season's competition. So away we go, it is Newcastle who get the ball rolling, attacking the goal away to our right-hand side in this first half. Milan in their chain strip, already through as group winners. They've been prolific in the group with 13 goals scored in five games. And straight away a problem for Newcastle inside 20 seconds. The very first tackle of the match. And I think it was uh, an injury to the face, so the referee quite rightly had to stop the game. Yep, an arm in the side of the face. You can see that uh, Alejandro Jimenez, the young Spaniard, is concerned it was his arm that was flailing. There is the head coach of Newcastle, Ben Dawson. He's actually the first team development coach. Started leading the under-21 coaching team in February after Elliot Dickman's departure a year ago. There we go, there's the arm. Straight away, you have to start thinking about c concussion protocols. Medical staff making a decision on whether he would need to come off and certainly it's looking like that is a possibility as you can see. Straight away, Leo Shahar, the 16-year-old, will come on to replace. Well, that's the luckless Kieran Thompson. I mean, he literally lasted less than 20 seconds. And I think that's just a precaution, really. Football taking head injuries much more seriously than it used to. And there is no sense taking any risks whatsoever. Hugely disappointing for Kieran. But another opportunity for Shahar, who's making his fourth appearance in the competition this season. Have to really feel for Kieran Thompson. Let's hope he's OK. So that was two minutes. Well, they sorted that out. Tetzele with the clearance. So it feels like a second kickoff, really. We barely got going. Bonomi with the ball forward. Tidied up very nicely by the young man who's just come on, Leo Shahar. Chases on there for Emerson. And Jiménez will just usher that behind for a goal kick. Nine of the starting 11 are uh, Italian for Milan. There's a pole, Darius Stalmak in midfield and uh, Jimenez as well. Well, it's all frenetic. This is Jimenez once more, and that's been seized upon by uh, Parkinson, and he wins the first corner of Parmigiani. No, they've changed their minds, it's going to be a goal kick. Good defending in the end from Pietro Parmigiani. In the other 
dugout. Ignacio Abate, who is a familiar figure, if you remember watching Italy during his time there, spent the vast majority of his career at Milan, came through their academy, which he joined back in 1999. He did leave in 2007 looking for first team football but returned a couple of years later and stayed for another decade so made over 300 appearances for Milan and it really has uh, dominated his life because a couple of years after retiring he was back on the coaching staff working with the under 16s definitely in the living legend bracket Offside against Kamada. Very fresh faced and still only 15 years of age there, number nine. But three goals in three appearances in the UEFA Youth League. Shaha, back to the captain. Heffernan, long from Janus, the goalkeeper. Chasing that one down was Ben Parkinson. It's back with Bartoccioni. Ted Zelle making his debut in the competition. Well, they backed themselves to play it out, but uh, they gave it away. This is Travis Hernes dispossessed. Really well dispossessed as well. And here goes Bonami. Rolled inside to Salah. Another 16 year old. It's a very youthful Milan side today. Parmigiani. They're telling uh, Ben Parkinson to get up and press here. Jimenez. Lots of Newcastle players back here. There's the first real shot in anger, and it's got in. A mistake from Abjan Yanuz. And Milan lead, just what they needed. Mattia Liberali with his first goal in this season's competition. It was speculative, the curler. He can't possibly have thought that would go in, but it squirmed through the grasp of Adrian Yanuz. And the group leaders have an early lead here. I mean, look, that's a decent enough attempt from Liberali, but there's no way that should go in. It's completely misjudged by the goalkeeper. Just wondering if there might have been a little deflection. I don't think so. It's a goalkeeping error. And even with a much changed side, Milan have an early lead. They actually fell behind early on in their last game against Dortmund. They were behind after four minutes, but they came roaring back. Bonami. Diligent work from Shaha. Milan's 14th goal in this season's UEFA Youth League. It's uh, double what anyone else has managed in the group. First corner goes Milan's way. The uh, Adam Bakune to go across to take the throw. Good header from Heffernan to get it away. Mm. 
Bakune, the right back, has played in all six group games. There won't be many who can say that because of all the changes. Parmigiani. Goes straight through to Cathal Heffernan, the Republic of Ireland 18-year-old. Here he is again. Shaha. Ten minutes gone. Newcastle playing catch-up already. Parmigiani with the back pass, got there ahead of the Norwegian Hernes. Excellent pressing. That's exactly what they need to do, Newcastle. That's what Ben Parkinson is there to do. He'll have to work very, very tirelessly up top. Ably supported by Johnny Emerson, who's probably been the pick of Newcastle's players during this run. A goal and an assist in the last... Sorry, a goal and two assists in the last three appearances in this competition, Emerson. Just a barge there from Bonamy. So a free kick to Newcastle United. Johnny Emerson over the ball. Could he add to those two assists he's bagged in recent matches? Look at that crowd of players on the edge of the box. Whistle went, and I think Newcastle are saying, well, we didn't realise that we were playing on. We thought you'd stop the game. That's what Emerson was saying. But no, it was headed out of play, and it's a throw. Well, it's a little bit soul-destroying for Newcastle because Milan don't have to go looking for anything here. They'll just bide their time and wait for the openings to come. Newcastle are going to have to do all the work. Parmigiani. That's good work from Travis Hernes. Again, Newcastle defending from the front. But uh, you just get the feeling they'll be feeling off scraps a little bit here. Well, there was a golfing quality between these sides when you go back to the meeting in September. It was only 4 0, but it could have been a lot, lot more. There's no question Newcastle have improved massively since then. Toughest possible start, really, wasn't it? Milan away. For their first ever game in the UEFA Youth League. Heffern. Really fired that at Shaha. Foul by Hernes. On Salah. Emanuele Salah. 16 years of age. Like so many on the pitch today. Well, that's promising for Newcastle. And uh, Hernes gets the ball, but the free kick is given for the earlier challenge on Sanusi by Salah. That's really, really positive, isn't it, from Trevan Sanusi. Now 
Now, Newcastle with another set play, and this time they could go for goal. Milan well aware, they've got uh, a five-man wall there, which is well inside the box. Oh, actually, just a four-man wall. There's a fifth just to the right of the wall. Just ticking towards the quarter of an hour mark. Well, a free kick goes wide. Although it was well struck, I don't think Bartoccione was too worried by Dylan Charlton's effort. Nothing wrong with the quality of the strike, but it was never on target. Uh, certainly one who'll play all six games for Newcastle. Ah! Sanusi goes over again, won't get a free kick this time. do like to play out from the back Milan and if they beat that press then they can be away it's risk and reward Parmigiani to his uh, centre-back colleague Tetzele there he is again Tetzele goes long Hoping to pick out Kamada. Hannes. No foul there, but he overran the ball, Emerson. Now both sides wanted a free kick. Stalmak felt he should have had one. Hernes felt he should have had one. The referee just decided to let the game go. There was a pullback there, and then there was a fall over there from Stalmak. Neither of them given. haven't quite got going as an attacking force, Newcastle. Emerson with a vain chase there. Five goals scored compared to 14 from Milan. just feel like if the group stage started now with the experience Newcastle have under their belt it could be very very different but when you lose your first three games in the group it's very very difficult to recover from that and they've shown a, a great deal of pride in the last two performances a draw and a win but a little bit too late you know the head-to-head -head record in these groups is so important, so if you lose the first three, you're not only playing catch-up in terms of points, but also in the head-to-head -head records. Sanusi. Forward by Charlie MacArthur to Sanusi again. Took on Liberali, and then took on Bakune. Being closely watched by Kevin Zeroli, the 
captain of Italy, of the uh, Italian side, should I say, Milan. Three goals in four appearances, Zeroli, in this competition this season. Been a really inspirational figure for Milan. Carter. Forward by Dylan Charlton. And too many overhit passes in this opening 20 minutes from the home side. Lots of good, honest endeavour. Lots of energy. Just lacking that little bit of quality at the moment. Again, Bartoccioni going short. Good pressure on Jimenez. Well, he gave it away, but uh, again, overhit. As Newcastle tried to get it forward early. Real contrast in styles here. Parkinson not making it easy for Andrea Bartoccioni. He's only conceded. Three goals in four appearances, the Milan goalkeeper. Header there from Heffernan. Forward by Hernes. Sanusi putting the pressure on Bakune. Very nicely done by the right back. Shahar. Down the line by Charlton to Sanusi. Huntley. That's a foul. Stalmak with the challenge. Another free kick to Newcastle. bit too far out this time I fancy midway through the first half here at Whitley Park Dylan Charlton the left back over the ball again got a couple of players there in the wall just in case but I think this will be aimed towards the far post where MacArthur is waiting Heffernan in there as well on the front post. Charlton. Oh, they do get the first contact as well. The keeper came flying out. And it was the captain, Heffernan, who attacked it best. A glimmer of hope here for Newcastle. That's a really good leap. Goalkeeper took an enormous risk, came coming that far out, got nowhere near it. If that had been on target from Heffernan, that would be 1-1. One, one. I must say, since scoring, Milan have shown very little in the way of attacking ambition. Ted Zelek. under a lot of pressure there Salah but he did extremely well and here goes Stalmak it's another giveaway oh, the goalkeeper came out again it's 
so far. One shot each. The free kick from Dylan Charlton for Newcastle off target. And the curler from Liberali on target, which went through the grasp of Janus. So very, very little in terms of clear-cut openings. It just shows that a gift like that can be so critical in a game like this. Newcastle's first corner. Emerson decides to go short. Now maybe a better angle for Johnny Emerson. A little bit too deep. Sanusi picks it up, rides his luck. Shaha. He's got it out to Charlton. The attempted cross from Huntley goes behind for another corner. Emerson tried a short one a moment ago. I think he'll probably curl this in on his right foot. Again, look at that. Like a wrestling match in there. I mean, he's talking to those two. He could be talking to the entire group. It's like a rugby scrum. Milan have got to be careful. If the referee's watching this closely, he could give anything here. Emerson. Too deep. Bonomi beaten to it by Shaha. Throw to Milan. Look at this. I mean, players going down left, right, and centre as the ball came in. But a poor delivery. You don't say that very often from Emerson. Charlton to take this one. I think they definitely fancy the in-swing up. Well, not a great delivery, but it could still work out for Newcastle. He tried to dig that out, Emerson, on his weaker side. It was actually a poor ball, but it got a touch on the near post, which made this very difficult for the visitors. One touch and then a, a swing of the boot just to try and test Bartagioni. Anguish etched all over Emerson's face. Talked before the game about how he's just loved this competition, testing himself against the best teams in Europe, how it's improved him as a player in the last three months. They'll be really disappointed, these Newcastle lads, that it's coming to an end today. For the time being, and who knows, by the time Newcastle qualify again, these guys might be too old, some of them. Shaha. It's another free kick to Newcastle. Salah, again, the culprit. been a bit of a stop-start slog this first half at times. You could hardly say that Newcastle deserved to be behind. And it's such a poor goal they conceded. Nicely done by Kamada, just improvising, getting the ball upfield. Out by Bailey, who 
to uh, open the scoring early on on match day five. Gave Newcastle the perfect start in Paris. Well, took a risk, didn't he? Father Johnny Parkinson was successfully evaded. Jimenez trying to switch the play out to that right side. Forward it goes by Bakune. But we played half an hour and Milan have had one shot. It went in. They've barely been near the Newcastle penalty area since. by Salah. Bonami. Collected by Bailey. Scrappy, though. I don't think Milan are that bothered, to be honest. If it is a bit scrappy, they've got their noses in front. They're heading for 15 points in the group. Milan also topped their group last year. One, four, drawn two. They could exceed that total. Just over hit by Jimenez. That was in Chelsea's group last season. Chelsea finished bottom of that group. Milan went on to beat Ruk Lviv in the round of 16 and then a really impressive win over Atletico Madrid in the quarterfinals. But then uh, a surprise in the semi-finals, they lost to Hajduk split. Hajduk ended up losing the final 5-0 to AZ Alkmaar. And Milan watching on wondering what might have been. These Milan players hoping to go one better. This time around, get themselves to that final in Geneva. Seroli. Gets it back from Jimenez, the Spaniard. Parmigiana. Seroli. Not afraid to take the aerial route and Liberali not able to bring the ball down. If he had done, might have well have been in there. Looking a little bit frustrated there, Ignazio Abate. Promoted to the under-19s 18 months ago after doing great work with the under-16s. Saw the team get to the semi-finals last year. scorer to Jimenez. Ramajani gets the ball forward, back by Stalmak to Tetzele. Ramajani again. Salah out to Vakune. Just enjoying this possession, Milan. Forcing Newcastle to run and chase and use up all their energy. No great desire to press forward for number two. 
Tenzele. Salah. Parmigiani. Inside by Jimenez to Bonomi. Stelmak. Salah. Just pressing Newcastle back a little bit here. Just perhaps hoping that the Magpies might just lose their concentration for a second or two. Salah. Oh, now the goalkeeper clashed with his own man there. Heffernan lost the ball. That could have been calamitous. He might have hurt himself as well. Certainly no way this could ever be a free kick because it was his own player, Cathal Heffernan, who barged him over. Yes, Kamada was in there, but it certainly wasn't a foul. Parmigiani. Zeroli. Back by Liberali. Bartoccioni here. Oh, there's plenty of Newcastle players high up the pitch, swarming, hoping to nick it. They need to be careful that Milan don't beat that press, because suddenly the wide open spaces could appear. Bonomi. Is he going to have a go? Well, that is only their second shot of the match. Abate is annoyed with him, I think, because it's exactly what I said. They beat the press and then suddenly it's four on four. And if he gets the pass right out wide, they could have been in. That was a, an ambitious, optimistic attempt from Alessandro Bonomi. He's yet to score in this season's competition. Just squirmed through. Bonomi gets the ball inside to Jimenez. And that is a foul by their number nine, Kamada, on Heffernan. Might have come off worst as well, Kamada. I don't really think he had any chance of winning the ball there. Yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a daft challenge. The message is clear from the official, that's the last opportunity I'm giving you. Could easily have been a yellow card, that. Maybe the referee's thinking the uh, pain in your ankle is punishment enough on this occasion. Forward by Charlton to Sanusi. Taking on Bakune. 
Now that's a lovely drop of the shoulder from Zanussi. Is there anything in it? Huntley. No, there isn't. Goal kick. Well, he's looked the one player, Trevan Sanusi, who could open Milan up with his mazy dribbling. Milan's defending has been extremely diligent, but look at that. That's a lovely, lovely bit of play. Best skill we've seen from Newcastle so far. Sadly, for them, Huntley wasn't able to keep it going. Five minutes left in this first half, plus, of course, there'll be a bit of stoppage time because of the injury inside 20 seconds to Kieran Thompson. That took two minutes to sort out. Liberali. Too close to the goalkeeper this time. Too much curl. But, uh, making the run was Salah. Parmigiani. Stelmach gets it back from Salah. Ted Zelle. Yanis deals with that emphatically. Tetzele with the spin and Bakune picks it up. Stalmach goes over. Free kick to Milan. Been a frustrating half for Newcastle. Three attempts, one on target. It was a very routine save, though, to deny Emerson. The other two both off target. Milan have contained them very comfortably without being too much of a threat themselves. Here's Bonomi for Milan. Plenty of space on the left for Jimenez. The uh, cross is blocked by Shaha. That'll be a corner. We haven't seen Jimenez that high up the pitch for a long time. By Bonami. It's loose for a moment. Spin and shot from Parmigiani. Perhaps that wasn't the best option. Again, players going down in the box. The goalkeeper high up the pitch here. He's out of his goal. And Stalmak knew exactly what he was doing there. Bringing down Parkinson to prevent him even attempting the shot. Gets himself booked. first caution of the match and uh, as I say I think he knew exactly what his intention was there because the goalkeeper had come miles out there was an opportunity to perhaps try and lob it now this was the earlier corner players going down again there the shot was blocked there and then the eventual strike from Parmigiani was also blocked the corners have been eventful we believe there will be two minutes of stoppage time, nothing more. Yeah. 
forward by Salah. Out to Liberali. Liberali brought down. That might well be a booking as well. For Charlton, that was uh, a player who was past him. Referee left with little option. That's just a desperate lunge. So there we are, two minutes into that now. Free kick to Milan. First two contacts, both from Newcastle players, crucially. Swung back in by Salah, didn't get any height on that. Ted Zelik. Jimenez. Emerson keeping him hemmed in. Throw to Milan with a minute of first half stoppage time played. Free kick to Milan. Bailey can't believe that. This will probably be the last chance of the first half. Stalmak back to Tetzele. Stalmak again, the Polish midfielder. Another free kick. Bailey penalised once more. We've played two minutes of stoppage time. And that is half time. AC Milan with a one goal advantage given to them by Mattia Liberali in the eighth minute. A shot which really should have been saved by Adrian Yanuz. It squirmed through his grasp and went into the back of the net. And in truth, very few opportunities after that. One simple save by Bata Johnny to deny Johnny Emerson, but Newcastle have huffed and puffed with very little reward. Half-time here in the northeast. Newcastle nil, AC Milan one. Welcome back, everyone, to Whitley Park. The Milan players already out for the second half. They're going to make a change. Christian Komoto is coming on. He's just 15. And he's going to make his debut in the competition. It means they'll have two 15-year-olds on the pitch. Unless, of course, he replaces Kamada. That's a possibility. But uh, Komoto is more of a midfield player. So here he comes. And he actually replaces Stalmak, who was booked. And is three years older, so much more experienced. Big moment for Komoto. Ignacio Abate definitely going with youth on this match day six tie between Newcastle and Milan. Newcastle, a goal down. The man over the ball there, Liberali, with the fairly tame left-footed curling strike, which somehow found a way in through the despairing grasp of Adrian Yanus. Newcastle, as you were, Newcastle attacking the goal away to our left in this second half. 
Can they get themselves level here, or will it be another clean sheet and another three points for AC Milan? Parmigiani to Tetzele. First touch for Komoto. Proud moment for uh, him and his family. Average age in this Milan side now must be between 16 and 17, I should think. Oh, this could be a chance for two. Is he going to take it? Great save to deny Kamada. Should have been two. A minute into the second half. The other 15-year-old on the pitch with a huge opportunity denied by Yanuz. That might have been curtains for Newcastle if that had gone in. Huge hole just suddenly appeared. All of that diligent defending in the first half. And it can be undone in just a, a few seconds. Liberale, Kamada. They've got a man over. Jimenez. Oh, it could have fallen very kindly for Milan there. It didn't. Newcastle hacked it away. Just get the feeling that Abate's... Uh, got into these Milan players a bit at half-time and said that was too passive. Even though you're leading, you barely threatened, and now we're seeing a different approach. Jimenez, Kamada, laid off for the captain. He gets it out wide to Liberali. Wanted it back on his left side, and Sanusi just pinched it off his toes. Almost at the moment of impact. That's a painful one for Ben Parkinson, who's got clattered in the back of the head. Well, Kamada here should have scored, no question about it. It was a terrible, terrible back pass from Charlton. And Kamada got the shot away. Charlton knew as soon as he touched that, he was in trouble. And actually, he was stumbling as he struck it, Kamada. Yanu's made the save, a huge relief for Newcastle's left-back, Dylan Charlton. Sanusi, uh, no foul though by Bakune. Same two players involved, and that is a throw to Newcastle. Heffernan, MacArthur. Oh, Bakune with a loose header, immediately saw his error and won it back. You can't ask more than that, really, for a young player to make a mistake and immediately make it better. Keeper's come a long way. Worked out nicely. Yanu's got it downfield to Hernes. Here goes Sanusi. Good lunging challenge out for a corner. Good work from Liberali. Good tempo to the game in the... Early stages of this second half. Sometimes the coaches can ruin it at half time. I think they've made a big improvement on this occasion. Demanding more from their players. Oh, goalkeeper made a mess of that. And it's been rolled into the net for the equaliser for Newcastle. Travis Hernes, the Norwegian midfielder, with the spin and shot. Another goalkeeping error. 
And Milan will be desperately frustrated to concede from a corner kick. Looks like the card is coming out here now. Has the referee changed his mind? Has he given a foul on Bartagioni here? Let's have a look. Well, I don't think Newcastle do a lot wrong there. Yep, the goal's been given. There was some doubt. But that is Travis Hernes's first goal in this competition. And that's reward for the Magpies' hard work. Just as with the Newcastle goal, that's a really poor one to concede for Milan. Bartoccioni came for a ball he could never get. Still took some composure and no sh a small amount of skill from Hernes to finish it off. But who doesn't love an early Christmas gift? Bakune. No way through for Bonami. Well, that is reward for all of Newcastle's graft in this game. Certainly wouldn't win goal of the month, but they all count. Hernes. Up and then to MacArthur. Near side is Dylan Charlton. Sanusi. He's looked a threat all afternoon. Charlton. Now Sanusi was caught there. And again, it's a facial injury, so right by his left eye. Free kick will be given. Charlton curls that one in, always favoured the defenders. Back in, this could be a chance, so oh, brilliantly taken by the captain, Heffernan. Newcastle have turned it around. Leading by example, Cathal Heffernan, drilling it past Bartoccioni. What a start to the second half this has been for the Magpies. Two goals in the opening ten minutes. And suddenly, Newcastle are looking at back-to-back -back wins in the competition. Headed forward clearly on side. Didn't he take that well? Good header forward towards the captain. Well, they were caught a bit square there, Milan. He was alive to the possibilities, though. And a brilliant turnaround for Newcastle United, who lead 2-1. Oh, 
Well, Abate will be fuming with this. Won't make any difference to the fact that his side will finish top of the group, but compare this to what we saw on match day one. It's another foul, another yellow card. Parmigiani is cautioned this time. That was a little bit high on Emerson. Yep, kicked just above the top of the boot. So suddenly the stats certainly favouring Newcastle. Five attempts, three on target. For Milan, two attempts, one on target. Haven't had a shot since half time, Milan. Here comes the latest Newcastle set piece. No one in black and white on the far post, though. Brought forward by Alejandro Jimenez. Salah. Sailing over the head of Bonomi. Really haven't come out for the second half yet, Milan. Big, big opportunity for Kamada, courtesy of a defensive error. But other than that, Oh, that slid in nicely to Komoto to try and keep it going. Corner kick off uh, Liberale's shot. Again, nice touch from Komoto in the build-up. Bonami to take the Corner kick. Fumbled a little bit by Yanus. Johnny Emerson looking to put the pressure on Jimenez here. Launched by Jimenez. Lovely touch by Sanusi. Beautifully done. Wide it goes by Hernes. No one in the middle, but joining them now certainly is Huntley trying to find someone, anyone. Now, changes coming here. Nirash Pereira replacing Jimenez. And that's a big change. This Sri Lankan defender, who's only 16, is coming on for his debut in the competition. And we're going to say goodbye to the captain, Zeroli. Replacing him is Hugo Cuenza, the Spanish forward. So that's uh, an attacking couple of changes from their coach, Ignacio Abate. What a, what a moment, though, for Nirash Pereira. A player from Sri Lanka playing in the UEFA Youth League. by Komoto. <laughs> and now we're gone. What a change from half time. Yeah. 
Nicely done by Shaha. Managed to nick it off Parmigiani without committing the foul. This could work out very nicely for Newcastle. They get the first contact from Huntley. Milan looking to break. Very, very good strength from Kamada. Sanusi did well to stop him in his tracks. conceded early on match day five came from behind to win complete reversal here scoring early and now behind clear by Pereira throw to Newcastle Shaha to take there is Pereira It's a name we might be hearing a lot more of in the future. <laughs> MacArthur. Komoto nicked it and was fouled. He's saying that should be a yellow card. We don't like to see that from 15-year-old players. Waving an imaginary card. You can get booked for that yourself these days. Komoto. Oh, promising. It's congested, though. Cross was disappointing, even though Cuenza was in a good position in the middle. Pereira. That's a lovely build-up play from Milan. Salah got it forward to Kamada. He's going to take it on here. Well, it's a good strike, but it would have to be wider of Janus to seriously threaten. He hasn't had a lot to do, the goalkeeper. He hasn't looked particularly secure, you've got to be honest. I'm sure he'll be replaying that Liberali goal in his mind tonight many times. But he's made the save there, crucially. Uh, gone all the way through to that right-hand side. Could they fashion something here? Little drop of the shoulder from Emerson. It's played in towards Sanusi. Looked such a threat, this man, Sanusi. Just couldn't quite find the gap. On by Charlton to Sanusi again. Big header in the middle, though. Fuenta. Oh, very nicely done, Pereira. Follow me. Good catch, Yanis.
Starting to see signs of life from Milan going forward now. After a fairly gruesome start to the second half for them. Lovely left foot on him, and we're going to see it here. Kamada. <laughs> Too much to do. Needed to try and lay that back to Komoto, I think. But like all good number nines, he's got only one thing in his mind, and that's having a shot himself. Strikers have got to be selfish. Salah. Seeking out Pereira on that far side. Kamada all the way through. Coenza. Oh, not able to get the shot away. Taken off his toes. And a high boot there from Tetzelek. Parkinson took that in the face. Another lovely cross from Nirash Pereira. Beautiful ball. Kamada's flick, and then just when he thought he had the time, Coenza. Newcastle had other ideas. Midway through the second half. I think Newcastle know they're going to be under pressure. Sean Neve, another forward, getting ready to come on for Newcastle. Kept in, but uh, straight to Sanusi. And Bakune, did he foul him? The referee says no. Now they're going to bring off Johnny Emerson here to introduce another 16 year old, Sean Neve. See the uh, fourth official there, a very familiar figure. John Brooks, the English referee. So off goes Emerson. And Sean Neve is his replacement. One goal in four appearances in this competition this season. He certainly played his part. Bakune, excellent block by James Huntley to put it behind for a corner. So once again, Milan thinking they've got more time than they actually have. Good defending. Looks like a double change coming here. Diego Sia and Luca Martinazzi. Both going to be coming on, couple of forwards. Replacing first Bonomi. So this will be five changes made by Ignazio Abate, Abate should I say. Sia first on. Three goals in five appearances for him in this competition this season. Short corner. Liberali. Sanusi stopping him for the time being. Coenza. Good 
Big 20 minutes coming up here. Not in terms of the group, it won't matter to that, but in terms of what these two teams want to achieve today. Good cross that from Bakune. Milan won't want to end this with a defeat. Such a promising group stage campaign it's been. Just to confirm it was Kamada, he made way. And as I said, he'll be left to ponder the chance he had right at the start of the half. Komoto. Good tackle, MacArthur got the ball. Komoto left on the floor. Oh, Coenza here, thought about it. And the second attempt, he had the shot, but again, it's a, a tame effort. Comfortable save for Yanis. Ben Dawson with plenty to say. He's had plenty of success since joining uh, Newcastle. Initially joined the club's academy nine years ago. Ben Dawson. Neve, great, brilliant. Tucked in by Parkinson for 3-1. Well, you would never, ever have seen this coming at half-time. Sean Neve getting the congratulations for his part, having just come on. And Ben Parkinson gets his first goal in the UEFA Youth League this season, and that is reward for all of his tireless work up front. He started it, got the ball out to Neve, then darted into the middle, wasn't watched by Bakune who completely lost his concentration. Parkinson did the rest to touch it over the line from close range. You've got to say, that is woeful Milan defending, but very nicely taken by Parkinson. Well, right now, Ben Dawson's men heading for back-to-back -back wins in this group, and that is... A terrific achievement after the way they started with three straight defeats. Komoto. Martinazzi will take it on. Totally different game now, isn't it, after that uh, rather sterile first half. There is Martinazzi. Just his second appearance in this competition. Tell you what, it wasn't that far away, was it? When you look at it from there, it just kissed the top of the bar. Another free kick to Newcastle with 15 minutes to go. Scott Bailey coming together with Salah, both left rubbing their heads. What 
could things get even better for Newcastle here? Another set play, and the offside flag is up there against Neve. Milan's only other defeat in the group was uh, away from home as well. They lost 1-0 to Paris Saint-Germain. On match day three, after starting with back-to-back -back wins, they got their revenge a few weeks later when they beat them 3-2 in Milan. This would be their heaviest defeat in the group. And actually, their only clean sheet in this group came on match day one against Newcastle. Komoto. Fuenza. Back pass by Dylan Charlton. Nacio Abate will uh, learn a lot about the changes he's made here. How many of the players coming in have given themselves a real opportunity to play in the knockout stage. Komoto out to Pereira. He's certainly looked the part since coming on. Liberali beaten to it. Pereira trying to win it back. Gets the free kick as well. Frustration again for Neve. Salah. Bakune with the layoff. Wants it back, Bakune. Threatened to dance all the way through. Scraped away by Newcastle. Pereira for Milan. Sia. Right to this near side in Cuenta. We've got pace in wide areas now, Milan, having made those changes. Big crunching challenge there from Salah. Cleared though by Travis Hernes. And here is Sanusi. Pulled over there, Parkinson. Again, a tireless display from him. This was the chance for Bakune. He just wondered if he needed to hit it first time there. The backtracking, Trevan Sanusi did enough. Puenza. Salah. Wide by Parmigiani. Salah. Bakune. Oh, a good ball in. And the header is over the bar, though, from uh, Cuenza, the Spaniard. Chance is starting to rack up now for Milan. Newcastle will be very grateful they've got this two goal cushion. to be behind at half-time to the group winners to show the character and tenacity that we've seen here from Newcastle in the second half is hugely impressive. They'll be gutted that this UEFA Youth League campaign is over. Down goes Sanusi, foul by Manuele Sala. Ten to play. Narrow up. Get up, 
Beautiful ball out to Neve. Down the line by Bailey. Hanez. MacArthur launches it too far. Straight through to Bartaccioni. Ted Zelle. All the onus here is on Milan to try and reduce the deficit. They controlled the game so easily in the first half and it's just completely got away from them since the break. Pereira opted for the low one this time. Well cleared by Neve, who helps out defensively so often. And actually launched the counter. Hernes. Neve. Helped by Christian Komoto. Been very impressive since coming on, Neve. Komoto. Plenty of time here for Dylan Charlton to get it back to Yanuz. Oh, they don't want to give it away. That's a nice turn. Matanazzi forcing the stop. Well, that was nearly a giveaway, wasn't it? Martinazzi actually playing it through to Sia. Lovely turn from Martinazzi and then Diego Sia over the... Well, he kicked it and it was saved by Yanuz. Good stop. Newcastle clear their lines from the corner. Seven minutes to go. Now, if that had gone in, it would be rather a frenzied finale here. Played through the middle by Salah. Komato will get booked for that. It's the third Milan player to get booked. That's a lunge on Ben Parkinson. Right in the back of the calf. Neither subtle nor pretty, that one. Another minute has passed. Six to play. Ferreira's header away. Hernes, who began the comeback in the second half with his well-taken goal in the 51st minute. Bakune. Kamoto. Quenta. Oh, it's lovely, intricate play. Just no way through for Diego Sia, who's threatened on a couple of occasions now since coming on. Ted Zellet. Wide by Parmigiana. Jani, should I say. The player, not the cheese. Salah. Bakune. 
Oh, very nearly picked out Liberali. Bakune, too deep. Too deep for Martinazzi. More changes, I think, for Newcastle here. So the man who got the third goal, Ben Parkinson, is coming off here. Another brilliant display up top. Couldn't have done much more for the team. Gets a big high five from his manager. Coming on in his place, Kyle Crossley. Fourth appearance in the competition, yet to score. Just some freshness in attack, really. Come on up. Nicely played for Cuenza. I think at times they're guilty of overplaying in the final third, Milan. Nicely done that by Liberali. But again, too much to do. Very wholehearted, committed display here from Newcastle. Could easily have crumbled after that woeful start. Pereira. No foul there. Newcastle on the charge. It's 3v3. The man has just come on, charging forward here. Sanusi laid back to Huntley. Charlton. Oh, they've got the ball up the pitch. They didn't make the most of the break. Sanusi. The referee's actually given the challenge on Komoto. Well, I would imagine we might have three or four minutes of stoppage time here. We've got 90 seconds of normal time still to play. Come on, Kyle! Pereira. Martinazzi with the layoff. Ted Zelle. Pereira. Liberali on that trusty left foot. Parmigiani, Pereira, 90th minute. No problem for Yanuz. Well, you've got to say, credit to him, he's bounced back after that very shaky start. Awful goal he conceded, but he's been very solid in this second half when Newcastle have needed him. So great credit to the young man. Coaches at this level, not so much bothered about the errors. It's how players respond to them and learn from them. And uh, I should think Ben Dawson will be delighted with the attitude he's shown. So all eyes on John Brooks to see how much stoppage time there is going to be. Five minutes. Crossley. Liberali. 
very, very good block from Bailey. Good performance from him in midfield, having scored on match day five. This is what he's in the team for. Liberali. Pereira. Oh, it's a good ball in. Another one. Well attacked on that near post. Diego Sia not able to finish it off. But the service from that left side from the Sri Lankan Nirash Pereira has been top class since he came on. Crossley. Well, he got the return. He's going to have to show some pace here. Salah did extremely well. Parmigiani. No way through for Hernes. Pereira. Well, he really has got a fabulous left foot, hasn't he? Coenza wins the throw. Well, the key period in this game was that first 10 minutes of the second half when Milan had a wonderful chance to go two up through Kamada and instead Newcastle scored twice in four minutes through Travis Hernes and Cathal Heffernan, the captain. Two really well taken goals. The, the third from Parkinson, a real bonus. But that's when things got away from Milan. They bossed the first half, really, without creating an awful lot. Newcastle looked immensely frustrated in that first half. Totally different story since the break. Bit of a lunge there from Diego Sia. The free kick does go... Milan's way. Disbelief on the face of Bailey. 90 seconds of stoppage time to go. And considering there weren't many stakes on this, it wasn't uh, anything that was going to affect the table in any meaningful way. It's been good entertainment this second half. Sanusi. Trying a curler, I think he's been very impressive. Crossley. Bailey. They certainly haven't looked after the ball well enough in this second half, Milan. Stark contrast to the first when they passed it very well. Pitch has cut up a fair bit in their defence. Charlton. MacArthur with the square ball to Cathal Heffernan. Seconds remaining here. Charlton. Free kick to Newcastle. The referee might just let them take this free kick. Great performance from Neve off the bench. Really done a job for the team. Made the third goal. Neve's done well. Sanusi and that's full time well that's an excellent victory 
for Ben Dawson and Newcastle. Back-to-back -back wins to end the group stage. Not enough to go through to the knockout stage. The damage was done in the first three matches when they lost all three, but a bit of revenge for the 4-0 drubbing in Milan back in September. For AC Milan themselves, a chastening defeat, really, after they were in front at half-time. But the bigger picture for them is that they topped the group and are straight through to the round of 16 in the spring. The goals from Liberali early on, straight through the hands of Yanuz, who'll be bitterly disappointed. But from there on in, Newcastle took charge. Two goals in four minutes from Hernes and Heffernan, the captain. The icing on the cake, a first goal in the competition for their hard-working centre-forward, Ben Parkinson. So, in the end, both sides leave the field happy. Newcastle up to seven points. And Milan, as I say, the bigger picture for them is that they top the group and will be through to the round of 16. They were well beaten here, though. Newcastle thoroughly deserving the victory on top of the one in Paris a couple of weeks ago. Job done for the Magpies today, and they bow out of the competition with pride. Full-time, Newcastle 3, Milan 1.